say Allah, you mean obviously you can't say you follow Allah. He has Allah's will is given in a perfect human being. Muhammad the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. He is the example, the model, the honor, pull on a back from it. He is a human being just like us. Not a saint. Went to the market, did business, had wives. First he was married to one woman, right? But even before he was a prophet, he was a successful person because the very nature of the human being was made to be successful. You were successful when you came out of the womb. Because, right? That was 15, 20 million other competing to come out. And you made it. So it has been put in your nature to be successful, to succeed. It's the world that teaches us failure. But just, let's get back to this word, mutaqin, mutaqin, to be regardful first of Allah and to be regardful of the, of the family ties. Hmm? Family ties. Not just your family that you have, your nuclear family, but your ethnic group, you're obligated. You don't really have taqwa if you're not concerned about the 10,000 killings of African Americans by African Americans. You don't have taqwa if you're not concerned about the people of your own ethnic group. The people in Egypt should be concerned about the people in Egypt. And yes, we're concerned about the world. But the people from Palestine should be concerned about the Palestinians. The people from Pakistan should be concerned about the Pakistanis. So you don't really, you're not concerned about anybody else until you start being concerned about yourself. Hmm? What is the first message? In your home. Right? The second one goes in your neighborhood. And they generally are people who are like you. So we have to understand that Al-Islam is a global ideology to establish human life. Then the next thing is Mutaqqeen is what? The Mutaqqeen is reverence for the fire. Reverence. The consequences. So we should have a massive campaign among Muslims, particularly in America, should lead African Americans out pot smoking. Intoxicants. Look, a huge sin. Now you see marijuana now have become something legitimate. I'm bringing you the concerns of my leader. Oh, you got a leader, my Prophet Muhammad's leader. He's the leader of us all. But we have local leaders in Jamaat. My leader is Imam Warwick Dean Muhammad II. This last Sunday, the first time he put great emphasis on ending this marijuana play. That's one of the tools of Satan. Now, a lot of our young people think that they can smoke pot. Now, let me tell you, this, being regardful this doesn't mean you're going to stop pot smoking right away. But you should regard that it's a sin. And let me tell you something, I'm a witness bearer. Whatever sin, it can be a big one. If you reject it in your heart, Allah will eventually bring you out of it. But don't ever regard any sin you commit as being right. If you with Big Leg Sally, a big, big muscle willing, and he is not your lawful husband, or a Big Leg Sally is not your lawful wife, then inside of your soul, so stop for Allah. Inside, you can't say it out loud, but you get to say to yourself, what I'm doing is not wrong. Even when you eat non-halal food, you shouldn't be happy about it. And for you Muslim African Americans, you should be pained 
very pain that you are not producing halal food for yourself. Didn't the, uh, didn't our, our prophet told us, no son of Adam has ever enjoyed a meal more than that which he produced his own hand. That doesn't mean I'm supposed to get flippy to cook for, have no food for me. Primitive man in the jungle knows that he's going to go out and get his own meal. He ain't asked nobody else to give him a meal. He ain't asking the president to give him a meal. He ain't mad to pick it, a picket sign. Hey, why don't the government give me more cheese and more food stamp? No, that primitive man knows he's going to go out. He's going to get them axe. He's going to find some animal and he's going to feed his family. It, isn't it, aren't we told that this is the religion of nature? Anybody have to teach a bird to, to feed his family? No. He, he was busy pecking and, on, pecking and, and, and make a home. Have a bird I clean out the um, uh, drain pipe. They come back every year. He said, mister, I don't care what you say, I'm going to make a home for me. Put up some again. Now, if a, the bird, what's the difference between us and that bird and those animals? The bird and animals have, that's their nature. We have a choice with our nature. Our nature has to be cultivated. If you keep smoking pot, Throwing your resources away. After a while, you your nature will just be satisfied. And it will just go along with the plane. That's, that's why the distinguishing factor for Muslims, I guess everybody says, well, no, Muslims don't drink. I know a lot of them drink, smoke, fornicate, do all those things. What is the distinct, distinguishing factor for the Muslim from other people? Our devotional practice. And I'd rather say devotional practices rather than to say to you prayer. Because prayer does not connotate the picture that the, that the, the word the Salat gives. And we have to give a lot of explanation to explain to you what the Salat is. Not explanation. So it can't be just said prayer. Because prayer, again, I repeat what I've said at this message many, many times. Prayer is the petition. In the old English, it's I will pray before this honorable court. And what do we what do we call when we do this in our religion? It's dua. It's a call. The word dawa comes from that from that same word. Allah said, listen to my call. Right? That's the Quran in Arabic. And some of us pick the Quran up and forget what the Quran is. We get so excited that we, we, we and I know why African Americans get excited. I'm talking to predominantly African Americans. Those of you not from the African American you can learn so you understand your brother. We supposed to all be brothers, right? He had his tongue cut out. He had his cities burned down. So he is terrified. He or she is terrified in his soul. So he's excited. Ikra! He just hollers and hollers. He don't know what it means. May know the grammatical form. He says this is the cute form of the verb. Meanwhile, he's sitting begging somebody else to give him a job, begging somebody else to give him some food, begging somebody else to do something for him, that which he can get up and do for himself. And is satisfied to have a bunch of useless discussions, but not focusing that discussion when you get two or three people, what God tells him in the Quran, well, I should. Surely you will, and you'll be in loss, except you're going in the mutual teaching of what? 
of good. But teach it about what? How to establish yourself in the society. And what is the society? First, it's so powerful that even the call is powerful. Do Muevin said, Allahu Akbar. And he says it four times, one to the right, meaning to your conscious mind. He says it again, Allahu Akbar, to your unconscious mind. And he says it four times to register what? The same thing that the Bible addresses. Four rivers went out from the garden and became great head. Well, you know you can't, brother, 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 I just have to tell you. It's a violation in any, when the Juma is going on, to do anything. You can't sign nothing, can't pass nothing, you can't do anything. Can't have current conversation. Truth of the matter, you don't should even offer the Salat. Because this counts for the Salat. The instruction. There's a reason Allah orders us to come to Jummah. Because the Salat, to have a, this is Zul time, right? The people who can't pronounce the, the sound, they say Zul, Zul, Zul. It's Zul, Zul. You ain't got no teeth in your mouth, it's going to be very difficult to do this. So you, you will say Zul. But you don't make Salat. Why don't you come in, sit down, and listen to the clipboard? Because it is the time for instruction. First and foremost, to put your focus on Allah and what Allah wants for you. Hmm? Second part is for the development of society. Now remember this, dear people, every ritual the Shahada change is for you. They ain't gonna change Allah's mind. Allah doesn't have a mind. That's the first thing. See? Okay. Security should be outside. Shouldn't be talking to anybody. That's a violation of the football. We don't talk. And I have to repeat what. Uh, and this is not this is not Alfred Muhammad, a formerly Alfred Twenty Eight X Booker. This is not him talking. This is what Allah said. <laughs> Girl, we have to understand that. Not to, that. It, it, and again, the prophets that told us, if you take a bath, clean up, and remember the day for the Muslims start when? Maghrib. When, when the last, when the, the uh, when, when the dark come in on the day, that's when the, that's the day. Take a bath. Smell good, not coming to get a lot of attention with your loud things that are going to disturb people, but not body odors either. And come with your best to Juma, so your sins will be forgiven. Now that tells us that we are people of community. We are people that are people, this is a religion that brings a society together. And it is instructions. And the Friday, I'm going to repeat to the hadith I would say it to you before. Friday is the best day. It is the day that man was created. It is the day that man was sent to the earth. From the earth, he will find his livelihood, food, clothing, and shelter. And from the earth will he be resurrected. He's not up in the sky. He can't get close to Allah. I was in a message one time and I was talking and the guy, you know, once a spot was born, I would never talk to him. Again. He said, We are here in the in the message. I won't tell you what country he's from. I heard it from a lot of places. I've been, I've been to a lot of foreign countries. He said, We're here to make Allah happy. I said, yes, brother. Allah could care less what you feel or think. You ain't going to change nothing about him. Huh? You are here to, you are committed to what he gave you a choice. Ultimately, you've been giving yourself. It's not going to change one 
thing about Allah. You're going to make it sad. You're going to make it happy. Everybody jumped down made sure all at once. Everybody committed sin all at once. None of that would affect Allah. He's Allah. My tree come up. See, that's the first thing we have to do is get the conception of Allah right. Because most the Muslim world, as I was telling the driver, is your, your treasure. I said, that's the problem in the Muslim world. We, we, we think we, get, we come, we have the same last, I, I can't begin to say, but it's, I, I can tell you, the last eight or 900 years of Islam, we just reverted into like Christians. We believe that we are to, uh, we forgot the social needs, we forgot what is purpose, and we fell into the same traps that the monastic people, we're gonna please Allah. And meanwhile, dirt, filth, ignorance, and everything can go on around you, and you're satisfied. That's why Islam comes among new people, and they renew it. But if the new people get the same poison that the old people got, have gotten, then they will come up wrong. To please Allah means the nature that he created you in, the nature that he put in you, that fitra. That's how the bird pleases Allah. By being a bird, I'm trying to knock a hole in my, in my, 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 my drain pipe to get in and feed his baby. Hmm? Now, you know, isn't that something? I, I, was, I never get this cat chased this this had gotten a baby bird. Man, a whole army, F-O-I, of birds. Of birds came and they were looking for that baby. And they were going to pet that cat. They looked for that cat. And we can allow anything to go on in our neighborhood. Like I say, I'm, I'm telling you all, African Americans and particular Muslim African Americans should lead the charge to clean these neighborhoods up and stop talking about you begging the president to do it. The president should do it. It's a shame what happened in Chicago Monday. Right in the downtown section of the loop, two carjackings. I'd like to have me about 20 thousand Muslim men I would surrounded that car and snatched that guy out and gave him a whooping. He would have been like one day I'd seen us do that to a brother and he begged for the police. He said, yo, what killing me? He said, get the police. One brother whispered, say he is, we are the police. <laughs> Aren't we obligated? I, I still am. I still am the definitive, meaning you are obligated to keep the peace. That's why I don't say salam alaikum, salam alaikum back to you too. I salam alaikum. The Muezzin says what? I salat. Sal we may make a mistake and say al al salat, but it's as salat. The salat. Meaning, and what are we doing in the Salat? Reciting the word of God, uh, Allah. You can't put anything in the Salat but the, the word of Allah. You stand, right? Next time I come, I'm gonna give you, I'm gonna give you the understanding, proper understanding of the al fatiha the opening. The book has an introduction it's set with El Fatiha. It tells you the table of content. But then it goes on and tells you how to, this book, there's no doubt in it. You may not live up to it. So you have already been, Allah has already qualified you for success. And what? And everything you do. Because if you follow this book, you're going to be a successful father. You're going to be a successful mother. You're going to be a successful business person. You're going to be successful in education. You're going to be refined. Hmm? You're not going to be listening to crazy music. You're not going to be following that nonsense that they got out here. You are going to be telling DMX, he's gone. 
but it, it pains me because he was surrounded by people who had been influenced by as Muslims. But you go around these people and you look up to them and you don't guide them, remember, Friday is the best day. It is the day that man will was sent to the earth, and from the earth, he will be resurrected. And the Quran tells us, you will be resurrected as you are. And I constantly repeat to you, if you're fool, and you're unproductive, and you do nothing on earth, that's what you'll get in the resurrection. We're obligated to be successful. They say, if you can't be successful where you are now, Migrate. You will be held accountable. That's why you have all these brothers coming from other places. They can't make the success maybe in their lands. All praises due to the law. Alhamdulillah, they came to America. And we can make America the greatest land on earth. Don't be jealous of this land. I didn't come here voluntarily. But my soul has surrendered. And I'm going to make America Muslim. Not everybody blind or hate the law, Muhammad and Rasul. I've seen a lot of people say that. They ain't, they ain't Muslim. But that everything in your life is saying that you have no authority. And let's understand that. That is saying that no authority. I don't go to nobody. I'm going to make an airplane. I want it to conform to what Allah wants. And if I'm going to be a surgeon or an airline pilot, I'm going to carry myself like Muhammad. That's the personality. Not slick Rick. Not trick daddy. What's the other guy that just got killed? Pop Smoke. Pop Smoke got some smoke. Sorry to hear that. But it's a warning to you young people. And most of the time, that's what I'm interested in. I'm interested in that. And I know how to talk to them. So I will see y'all. We have the Juneteenth day. It's an ethnic day. Well, Jalna Shuaibe, Kabli La Lita Aratu. And Kabli, I believe, it means the orientation or your, tr your tribal grouping. It's going to be at the uh, Fort Ward Park, which I happen to be a councilman there. And I will be one of the speakers. That's going to be Saturday, June 19th. Uh, <coughs> 2021, and they'll give you more announcements. The first part of the cookbook will give you the word of Allah. The second part, when I come back up, which I'm going to be getting out of here, is I'm going to just make dua for the community, and that was what the community needs. It's a dua. Allah wait. Quickly, when Allah is named the merciful benefactor, the mercy redeemer, the praise is due to Allah alone. Has no partners in the room, and we openly bear witness that He is alone, the only one worthy of worship, and the model human being is Muhammad, the 15, some nearly 15, nearly 1500 years. I don't remember the exact number. The model that brought literacy, the model human being, the model rich man, the model, model father, the model educator, everybody who has a hope, whether he be Christian, Muslim, or Jew, that we create the fear, no, not fear, no, that they will meet a model. See, we say, I believe in a lot. A lot of people say they believe in something. But do you believe that there are consequences? All of Make us to be a people of consequences. And after the imam said something, you say, I mean. That's how you do it. That's, that's the way it's done. If I were doing it in Arabic, you'd probably do it. You'd get all holy about it. No. I'm, you're English speaking, so I'm going to give you the, I'm making the dua. Oh, Allah. Make this community, Master Al Hadi, to be a model of guidance. I mean, you say, yeah. congregation. 
O oh, Allah, bless and forgive the members of this Jamaat of all our previous sins. O oh, Allah, bless the sick among us. Bless the poor among us to get wealth. Bless the men to get married. Bless the women to get married. Bless us to be great fathers, not just good fathers, but great fathers. Bless us to be carriers of your word to all these people in Elizabeth and the surrounding area. Obligate us. Make us feel uncomfortable in our soul, but not obeying you. But it says, I take the law, I take what Rasul, I take no movement. And those are mirroring movement. Those who are charged with the thought, make us to obey that. Make us to uh, know along that you are watching us and we can't watch you. Good coming to Sabbat. Who is the next senior person who will lead us in the Sabbat? Who, who is the next leader here? I, I, I will, I, I'm not here to, yes, so the imam is here, he will lead you in the salat, and I will follow him. And I thank you all for having me here, your courageous congregation, at very few places they want me to speak here, because I'm going to give them the word of what Allah, and then I'm going to tell you, well, I'm going to do what I'm going to saw the hat, what salat to what? Zakat. They go hand in hand.